I'll show you how to jump out a fuel pump relay. Jim and other makes actually label theirs. Uh, with a Ford, you'll more than likely have to Google if you don't have the owner's manual. You can go into any auto parts store. And even Walmart, I've seen them at convenience stores and get these little pitchfork looking ends. This is all you need. On this van, this is number 25. And this is the fuel pump relay. You have 85 and 86. That's your coil side. That's the switch, like a light switch. What you want, 87 and 30. You see how that shows that it's open? Well, this switch over here, 85 and 86, the coil flips that switch closed. And when it's closed, that sends power through the fuel pump. When you flip this over, you got 85 and 86 is diagonal from one another. 30 and 87 is the same way. They're the opposite. It doesn't matter which way you turn it. You're not going to put it in there backwards because it just flips around. It's diagonal. But in order to jump out this fuel pump, um, you're going to have to jump from 30 to 87. And the reason I said these little wire ends right here, and I'll try to show you guys. See, you can hold them side by side and they're just about the same thickness. And that is actually long enough to reach in there even though it's shorter than what the pins is on this relay. So I'm going to go ahead and insert this. And now you don't want to get it mixed up. You mix it up and you hook it up the wrong way. You will create a short. And that could even go as far as to damage the engine computer. So don't try this if you're not for sure of which way this relay connects. But I've got that in down in there. And also watch and don't touch any bare metal. And I've got the other end down in there. And they both are holding. See how you got 30 and 87? 30's at the top. So when you flip this over, 30 is going to go to the left. And then the same way with 87. 87 will be to the right. And like I was saying, you can turn this over and it's still going to be the same. But I'm going to go ahead and start the vehicle. It's a little loud. And show you guys what I'm talking about. I was to pull this out, you hear how it's how it tried to die just then. That's how you jump that out. I just remember whenever you're not driving the vehicle and you have it turned up to remove that jumper. If you leave this jumper installed, it will run your battery down. That fuel pump will be running all the time, so be sure to remove that jumper.